Welcome back to the video, taking a look into the price action, what we can expect, what's been going on with Cardano and AVAX today. We're going to be covering these two. Right now, I would like for you to jump to the subscribe button, smash that, help us support the channel, and drop a comment after the video and tell me what do you think is going to happen with these two tokens within the next couple of days right so cardano right now is trading around 0.38 you probably already know my stance on cardano it's not a bad token but it just hasn't performed anything major in quite some time i mean the last high that we really had for cardano was the 12th of march right uh major high when i say that uh that was around like 80 cents like 80 cents but i remember when it was like three four bucks so um, which was a lot higher, but we are, we're, we were moving in a very bearish pattern, uh, according to our trend lines, our uh, data is showing us, right? So as far as our support levels and our uh, resistance levels go as well. But on the positive note for Cardano, it is starting to break through. So what we have now, there's still around 17 hours left in the trading period, right? Yesterday closed above our trend line, right? Which is good. So it kind of consolidated for about a couple of days. When, when I see con consolidation, I mean, it just kind of like leveled out a little bit. Um, and it closed above the trend line. And today it's also in the green as well in a positive note. So with that being said, that if today can close also over here, we have a little bit of a confirmation that it's going to start to kind of grow a little bit. But what does that really mean? Like, what, what can we see? I don't like when I see the market so squiggly right it's just kind of hard to really when i say it's hard it's it's just so unpredictable that i don't really like to go but, but where it's going to go so it, it and it makes it a little bit difficult to navigate through uh the price actions that are, that are coming through but either way it doesn't matter so when we're taking a look right now so you see my two lines right one at 36 cents one at 47 47 is kind of a long shot right now so that's where we were back here on the 3rd of may but i would like for us to see there that's going to be where i think we're going to get to a to a good normal point to a pretty healthy market right and that's what i mean by when it's just like up and down so sporadically it, it just makes me a little bit nervous but i like to see good retracements coming up right uh, such as these two right here right so when we see like this kind of retracement coming in this is what i like to see but when we have a lot of the like all of that it just doesn't doesn't quite float just right right i mean you guys know what i mean so it's just hard to um to make a good trade on that based because we don't know where it's going to go right so it just shows that the market hasn't made up its mind yet this is what i'm trying to say so either way, like I said, uh, on the daily chart, if we can have a couple of good positive uh, price actions coming in, a couple of good solid candles coming in, that'll be perfect. But if you notice, we do have something going on, and this makes me a little bit nervous while I'm thinking we're going to kind of start to go back down, is because it's getting rejected. It was getting rejected a lot, and even the previous candle got rejected. So just for example, just where I can kind of come back and check, is I'm doing it live with you guys. So if I'm coming back here, boom we already found it so i didn't even check back this far back but even when you take a look uh this area right here is going to give us that resistance and what does that really mean right now and you see we're fighting and that's what happened here we're fighting that but we still haven't broke up across that window so uh if we're not breaking across that window uh then it's a bit of a problem too so i'm just going to drag this kind of our window area and give us some area to kind of pay attention to uh okay yeah you can see that that's about of our window right so we still need to close out above that window to be able to uh see that's going to kind of confirm now the thing here is it can get rejected trigger some stop losses and continue to uh to go down and i mean honestly to go down we were to go down to 32 cents uh fairly easy uh, depending on the stop losses that are coming through and you, you can see what i mean like when it's doing all of this and it's just making the market quite hectic or it's making uh the ability to move forward and make a solid investment choice right so if we do break past that we have around 41 cents and when 41 cents will not pose too much of a problem. We do have where some resistance can kind of come into play uh, back of April of last year. Uh, but then the next hurdles would be 
uh, 44 or so uh, to kind of get back up into that. So it, it is possible. But let's take a look at it for the weekly. All right. I'm just going to kind of zoom in. Weekly, it is looking a little bit better just because you can see that it is um, the momentum is slowing down quite a bit. And that's what we wanted to see uh, for to be able to kind of at least see the trajectory of what Cardano is going to do. All right, moving on to AVAX. So AVAX trading around $25 right now. Uh, 25, yeah, 25. Uh, now, if you notice, there's quite just a normal decline. Uh, nothing major uh, moving in, but we're also kind of rebounding off the support level. Now, I did this a little bit earlier. But that's kind of coming in. That support got solidified by November of last year. Uh, that's where that's kind of coming in at. And you can see we don't really have any like major action. Now, uh, some previous videos, we were talking about these major points right here as well. Uh, but if we draw like the window that we're doing, because the line's not going to be perfect, more than likely we're going to be touching from that, from that area as well. So that's kind of where we're coming in at. But again... If we can close in above that, we'll see that as well to start to kind of incline. And the next moment that I think we're going to be up, that we'll see any kind of fighting or resistance would be around the $29 mark uh, or so. So even if you had entered the trade now, it would be good. But uh, to be one hunt, to be honest with you guys, to be a little bit more optimistic on where AVAX is going to go, I would say that we need to break above the trend line. Of course, I think you guys already know that, but if we can close above the trend line, which would be around, uh, let's see, 27 bucks or so like that, and then that way we know it's going to grow. But if we grow, um, you know, 32, 32 bucks is a possibility as well around this area before we start seeing the uh, the next resistance after that. So, yeah, if we can close above the line, and I believe, like, honestly, we would close probably around 28 or 27 for that to kind of confirm. Right around in that area, right? 27, 28. Uh, and then we have another spurt that we can go between 29 and 31. And if you're looking for a short-term uh, gain uh, as well. But, you know, you know, you're always hearing me about major market structures are always returned to them. And that is true. That's a fact. And so even if you take a look at it in this way, and I'm just going to kind of uh, hide. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll do it this way for you guys. Uh, this area right here, this market structure, this is a major market structure movement because of this long candles that actually stop. Um, let's just say at the top of this one and at the bottom of the structure, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to call it about right there where that wick ends. So, and let me get my paintbrush for you guys. Right. So here and here, right? So these two of this window. So if you noticed, if we go back up to that, which is that possibility, right, 36, we're, we're going to see that it's going to be at the bottom of that, right, as well. And we return to it uh, as well. So we did in, even up return. So let's just say uh, that it dropped and you bought in it here. We went back up. It always returns at least to that market structure. Now, whether it be on the top or the bottom, right it's always going to, it's always going to return to the structure at some point. It will always do so. So that's why it's always good to be resilient and kind of calm yourself a little bit before uh, you make any kind of hash uh, rush decisions. So again, I believe $45 is the point. I believe we're going to return back to this point as well. And it's not just one structure. It's a couple of those. But it's, since it's the previous, we'll return to it. Um, and even that retracement from here, this area right here from uh, the beginning of from May, from the middle part of May. Uh, I think we'll return to that. Now, you can see it's just like that straight line moving in, that kind of, well, straight, just kind of diagonal um, go decline, right? So I believe we'll come back up to that. Like I said, we'll push through here. Hopefully, we can kind of bounce back around 32. Once we get to 32, uh, we'll return to that structure, at least to the bottom, I believe. So that's a good positive note. And then from there, depending on the structure uh, that gets created at that moment, then we can kind of find out. Right, but let's look at the market as a whole right now. So Bitcoin's 0.7% up, Solana's right behind it at 0.8, Ethereum's 0.5, nothing major moving. Uh, right now, AVAX is up though by 2.2%, Cardano's down by like 0.1%, which is not major, but 
Uh, as far as major market players right now, it's moving on. As far as up or down, uh, Doge 2.3, nothing's really happening right now. Pepe is the only one that has like a really good um, incline, which is at 6.6%, which is which is great. Uh, everything else, it looks okay. It's just kind of mediocre right now. We can't really say too much. Uh, the Ethereum name service uh, is 8.7. I, I just didn't see it because it's so small. Uh, 201% for the year, right? So not so bad. But the year, you can see, been a good year. Bonk actually increased yearly by 6,000%, which is fantastic. Floki 616. Uh, it's been somewhat of a decent year for crypto, right? Um, but as far as the market cap for the day, it is like so-so. And the market week is also not so great. Ethereum was down by 4.8%, Bitcoin's down by 6%, but the week's not even finished yet, so uh, nothing to really sweat. All right, guys, let me know what you think about AVAX. Where do you see it kind of coming in at in the next couple of weeks? Do you think we're going to break above that trend line or what? Let me know in the message below or in the comments below, and I will see you guys again in the next video.